inverter. I didn't know if it was going to be in stock or not. This is my Freedom 3000 watt inverter. I am so excited for this. I have 2500 right now, so this is inverter charger. So excited. Tomorrow I am going to install my inverter and I wanted to go over a few things on why I am doing this and why Xantrex and I are partnered on this. Um, obviously I have an inverter. It is pretty old. I don't know how old, but I know the boat's had it for a while. It's an inverter charger. It's been working great. There's some things about it that won't work with a few other upgrades I'm going to be doing. The main reason I'm doing this is because I'm putting lithium batteries in by Xantrex and this inverter is not a smart inverter and I cannot put the setting on lithium so I need a new inverter so I can set it to lithium. And there's a few other things like it's Bluetooth and I'll get into more of that as I go through. But that is the main reason I'm doing it. I'm also upgrading from a 2500 watt to 3000 watt. That is what I'm hopping on to say that I'm going to attempt to install today. And I say attempt, but I really only have, like, I want to do it in one day. If I don't get it installed by nighttime, I have no light in the boat at night. And then the fridge and freezer can't run either. Because basically I want to turn all the power off when I'm installing it. Yeah, I'm very intimidated by this, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. That is one of the reasons I'm working with Xantrex on this, is to show you that anyone can install their own inverter charger. And I'm also gonna be putting lithium batteries in, so I'm gonna take you along for the process, show you guys what I'm doing. Honestly, like if I can do it, a lot of people can. I've come a long way in boat ownership and I've learned that a lot of stuff seems more intimidating than it actually is. And a lot of stuff is pretty much black and white as long as you're willing to do it. So, so another benefit of this is that it's Bluetooth. The new batteries are Bluetooth, which is super great. Tools are ready, manuals out, inverters there, AC power is off, off. Where these wires come out the old inverter everything came in on the bottom but on the new one everything needs to come in on the top so these are clearly not long enough but I'm hoping this I think I can make reach just a little bit of play with that one but the negative I'm messing with that now I only need a few more inches on the negative so spaces never end. And then, so this negative, I don't know what you can see, is right there, this one, but it goes all the way down and up. So I'm going to try to undo all this and run it straight up and that should give me about 10 more inches and I think I'll be good to go if I can do that. finished wiring the battery cables no they both fit now these are the old AC that will go in there these are my new ones I didn't have any three strands so I had to pull two different two strands but there's three colors and um, always keep track if you do change colors of stuff that one has green this one's red so in the manual I point out that which wire is which and I'll probably write it on here as well but I'm going to plug in all this now
mounted it. It's mounted really nicely. Um, I'll be zip tying everything to the side over here. And then all I have left to do is connect everything together. So there is all the AC wires going down. I'm gonna test it and then clean it up. There's the DC, the monitor and the Bluetooth. Everything is still off. So I'm gonna start by turning everything on and then the manual has instructions. Okay, testing in battery mode. Shore power is not present. So I'm gonna everything on. The boat is so quiet. There we go. Okay, so press the power button to turn it on. Okay, now let's see if the laptop is charging. It's charging, so it works. Okay. So that works. Testing in grid mode with the test load from the still connected. Connect to shore power. So I'm going to connect to shore power. Okay, so I'm turning over to shore power here. It says charging. Batteries are going high. in and I said I'd walk it through a little bit since it's kind of hard to film while I'm doing it. So here's the walkthrough. Actually, well first the hardest part was by far getting the old inverter out. As you can tell from the video, it was, it took forever um, and it was super heavy. Like this inverter is so much lighter than the old one. I also want to point out I had it fairly simple since I already had an inverter charger and it was just redoing the wires and not having to add new wires. So I was really happy about that. Um, it was kind of plug and go. So um, here it is. Here are the AC wires. You saw me put them in at the top. Then there is the sensor from the batteries and then this cord goes to my remote panel over there. And then these are my DC wires. Um, I'm really happy with this inverter. I'm not going to go into how everything works, what all the settings are. The manual goes into all of that. But it's super easy. Um, with the Bluetooth control panel, I still need to get a backing for this, so ignore that. But it's just as easy to operate. And the nice thing about this panel is you see these blinking lines? That means the Bluetooth is activated and I can monitor it all from my phone and any settings I need to change. For example, if you have lithium or AGM or lead acid batteries, you can change what battery type you have on the app with this Bluetooth panel, which is going to be amazing when I put my lithium in. But this is the inverter install. Um, they're really, it wasn't complicated. Um, don't be scared to touch wires. It was super easy. The hardest part was just, this one's a little bit different oriented. So getting the wires up here versus down here where they originally were. The manual did a great job of walking through what I needed to add, do, double check. The fuses going from the batteries to the inverter. Um, everything was super simple and I'm super happy with the product so far and I know I will continue to be. It's so much lighter, it's efficient, and I can have so much more power. And I'm really looking forward to once I get the lithium and running these two together because it's going to change my life on this boat. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned a little bit or got encouragement that you can also do things like this yourself. and.